Welcome to a very quick overview of the Electronic Student Management System. So first we have the sign-in screen. This is the screen the uh, student will see when they arrive at your uh, dojo or training center. You see on the screen there are some advertising opportunities to advertise any products or uh, services that you provide. The student can sign in either with an electronic card or with date of birth. So let's pick a date of birth, 17 May, and immediately that person appears and you can sign them in to the various classes there available to you. So once the student is signed in, this is the screen the instructor will see. Here we have a list of techniques. These are split into beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if we click on a beginner technique, here on the left-hand side, we have a list of students. So Kevin performs the technique. And we can assess Kevin at that level. He's done it again. He's a bit better than last time, so we can upgrade him. If the whole class are doing this particular technique, we can click Assess All, and we can assess everybody in the class. This will not downgrade people. So if we look back to Kevin now, you'll find he's still performing at a higher level, but it will upgrade anyone who hasn't performed that technique. Here we have some graph options. Click on the whiteboard, and this shows us how the whole class is performing on a particular technique. Click on the graph, specify a student, and this shows us how this student is performing specifically along the whole range of the syllabus. So he is not an intermediate or an advanced student, so therefore he's not done those techniques. Click back. Let's look at an advanced technique. Scroll down to advanced. Click on advanced technique, and you'll now see some X's have appeared next to the students who are not performing that technique. So Philip is, he's just performed it, he's quite good, so we've given him a good mark. Now we've got a grading application. Once the students achieve a level and you come to your grading, you can then grade the students. These people have obviously graded already. Let's have a quick look at uh, this person who got a credit. So we'll click on him. Now this is what the examiner will get when he examines the student. He can mark every technique out of 10 and, uh, and assess that student. He can then see that upward kick to kneecap wasn't a particularly good technique for him. He only got a two. This information at the end of the grading is emailed to the student or the student's parent so they can see exactly why they achieved the mark they achieved and what they need to do to improve for next time. Now the front end of the system shows the student exactly how they are performing. So they would log in from home, they go to, this is accessed via our website, they go to their website, they click on the student portal option and they log in. Here I'm logged in as a particular student and he can see on the left hand side how he is doing. So he's, his front strangle, his sitting strangles is good, but he's, a lot of these techniques he hasn't yet been assessed on. He doesn't know a particular technique, he can click on it and say, what is that technique? And you'll get a video of that technique. We've obviously set up our own videos. Um, we can look at uh, providing you with our videos if your syllabus is the same as ours. Alternatively, you can do your own videos. Or you can just simply have a list of, of techniques down here without any videos. Um, that's your choice. So in simple terms, that is our system. Now we have a back end as well. Um, let's look at uh, this part here. Back to the main menu. And then we've got uh, EMS Management Portal. Click on the Management Portal. And in here, this is where you set up your reports. Um, lesson Occupancy Report will show you how many students you've got registered for each lesson. So where you do your session management or your classes. Uh, to set up your classes and then you've got your student management uh, down the bottom here you can see all of your active students you can specify the person's details their email address their date of birth any medical issues that they've got and you can also assign them to a class and should that person decide to leave you can deactivate them 